guys, this is John Callum from KHL Motorsport. We've solicited some questions from our friends and family. I thought this would be a good uh, type of content to put on our YouTube channel. So, here um, we've gotten some very good questions from our friends. And um, we'd like to answer all of them uh, as we uh, go along in the series. But for this video, I'd like to focus on a very, very good question from uh, a, a friend of mine. Um, I, I felt it's kind of important to dedicate this video just for his question. Um, so, this is my friend Richard Almeda. He was my high school classmate. He writes, uh, How accessible is motorsport for the average working man? Or, how do you get into motorsport with limited resources? and time um, limited resources i.e. tight budget only one car daily driver etc 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 well Richard I can speak from experience I also am a budgeted racer um, as I uh, develop my own skills and develop my own interest and decided that I really really want to do it I've done several things over the past decade or so um, in in Philippine motorsports so I think I could really uh, share from my experience what what it's like to to be honest going into Philippine motorsports so easy nowadays easier than ever you know there's so many races going on um, you can take your pick from a multitude of organizers out there if you're into motorcycles there are motorcycle races um, being organized but but I'm primarily a car guy so I will only share about my experience in car racing um, anyway in car racing as in any hobby or sport um, you kind of need to know what it's like what, what's the scene like or kind of know if it's if car racing is really for you so I guess the easiest way to delve into this world is to just watch a race. If you like Formula One, it's fine. You, you should try also looking at local races. You know, take the time to see what's going on and see if you really want to participate. Then if you really decide that you want to join, you want to try try your hand at the wheel, then just join. Then decide after one or two or three races, hey, is it something that uh, you would like to do? Uh, on a regular basis not necessarily every week but let's say once a month or once every two months you know as a possible hobby or pastime once you really want to do it you know the next step is to figure out how to constantly do it and to and of course how to be better at it first of all where do you see the virus races going on in the country a good resource is the website time attack manila they have a calendar of events for um, for the year, uh, you can check it out at timeattackmanila.com. If you have friends that uh, who are into motorsport, who regularly compete or sometimes compete, you know, the next time they go watch or the next time they go race, why don't you join them and watch as well? So at least you get you get to know what it's like, and at least you have friends to explain it to you what's going on. After you spectate, after you watch a few races, then the question lies in whether or not you want to try try it for yourself then basically just try it there are a lot of races you can join it really doesn't matter what car you have you can find the motorsport that you can join and participate at even if you don't have a car you can go karting they say karting is closest to formula one if you like formula one karting is a good uh, form of motorsport to start but take note that karting is not cheap when you're really serious at it, it's not gonna be cheap. Um, I'll just leave it at that. You, you should try fun karting a few times. It's also a good idea to at least see what grid racing is like. So I recommend karting as well if you don't have a car. And if you have a car, you wanna max, you wanna learn how to drive your daily driver to the absolute limit. You know, it it, it also helps that you. Um, pick and choose what motorsport would be most appropriate for your car. Maybe for if you have a small car, like a you know, 
like a Wigo, Picanto, Alto, Brio, and all these small cars that end with O for their names. You know, you could try parking lot racing like Slalom, Autocross, Gymkana. But parking lot racing is accessible for uh, normal sedan, small cars. You can also try your SUV out there, but it's kind of... It's gonna be cumbersome for you, but if you have a rough and tumble uh, pickup or SUV, I, I highly suggest Rallycross. Um, Rallycross will really teach you car control, and it's really fun to, to, to be able to drive the car sideways sometimes. Of course, there's also circuit racing. Circuit racing is open to any car, basically. Um, you, at least you also would know a little bit of how to drive your car at high speed, how to turn your car at high speed. So circuit racing is also there and available. There are two may, uh, there are two big tracks in the uh, in the Philippines. There's uh, Clark International Speedway up north, Batangas Racing Circuit down south. You can check out the race there and join any amateur circuit events that are being held there from time to time. You know, of course, you know that motorsports is not gonna be cheap. It's kind of financially intensive. You got to pay to play. That's what all my mentors said to me. You have to pay to play. But then again, if you're into golf, you also have to pay to play, right? You have to buy your golf clubs. You gotta get a golf membership or pay the green fees and all. all you, you know the drill. So the concept isn't too unfair to, it shouldn't be unfair. But then again, it's not that expensive to be honest. Uh, well, karting, if you take it really seriously, a uh, race in the national series, it's gonna be expensive. If you have dreams and aspirations to race internationally, it's going to be expensive. But if you're going to race in the grassroots, you know, it's not that expensive, it's, you know, I hate to I hate to discuss exact figures, but if you own a car and you're paying monthly payments on that car, I would assume that you'll have additional discretionary income to try out motorsports in the grassroots level. You can afford it, I'm sure. You know, but uh, just to give you a brief insight, you know, I, my budget, I would allocate a, a budget that would include my entry fees, gasoline for my car, toll fees to get if needed, food of course, some emergency funds, I guess the preparation that you have to do to your car is of course you have to maintain it, you have to make sure that it's in tip top shape because it's cause racing your car will be a little bit hard on your car. So make sure that before and after racing you, you keep you, you make sure that you know it's in tip top shape. And I suggest getting an AAP membership in case you get uh, you find the need to be towed or you, you know you may need that your car breaks down and whatnot. You know as far as ti you know uh, time investment is concerned, well grassroots motorsports events are usually held you know one day. If you're free on a Saturday or if you're free on a Sunday, you can join the race. Organizers usually hold events. Uh, on a Saturday or on a Sunday. If you're in the lower levels, you know, you're beginning, it's usually what, just one day. You know, just budget an appropriate uh, amount of time to get to the racing venue on time. Usually, uh, they're already open to register participants by 8, 8 a.m. So, once you're done with your runs, um, you can uh, go home early. If you want something, you can wait until the awarding, then go home. And venues could be parking lots, it could be vacant lots, it could be dirt, air, you know, dirt tracks. It, it could be purpose-built racing venues like circuits. You know, you don't have to take it too seriously because the good thing about being an amateur racer is that you don't really have to race every weekend. You know, if you don't have the budget this week, you don't have the budget this month, you can always race some other time when you have the budget and the time. So, you know, 
if you're an amateur, you're taking it as a hobby. So just enjoy yourself. Just just enjoy the experience. You know. If you want to be a champion in some form or discipline, that's where you kind of have to be a little bit more serious. You have to be a little bit more dedicated. If you know, if you really get to the stage that you want to take it seriously, you don't think about how expensive racing is. You just think how the hell you're going to get the money to pay for all this. That's it. Uh, another option is also to get sponsors. And eventually, you'll treat motorsport as some sort of business as well so that you can sustain it. But when you're starting out, don't, you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you really want to get serious, um, the last thing I would suggest is to take racing lessons, advanced uh, lessons on advanced driving techniques. Uh, from time to time, those things are are being organized by the AAP has a program called the Motorsports Development Program. I'm a graduate of that. I'm very thankful for the skills and lessons that I've learned in that. And it has really made me a superb driver in my estimation. There are other people also teaching uh, how, to dri- uh, how to drive competitively. There's of course Tuason Racing School. There's um, the grandson of uh, Tito Poch uh, Ramirez, uh, Stefa, Stefan Ramirez. He has a racing school as well. You can, of course, you can uh, if you have friends that you know who are very good in motorsports, you can also ask them for some advice and tips. But yeah, get educated in driving hard and driving fast. It will also make you a safer driver on, on public roads. You know, Richard, that's a very good question. Thank you for asking this question, really. And uh, if you guys have any other questions about more sports, how to how to jump in, how to dive in, do write your questions in the comments. Uh, we'll be happy to answer them or respond to them on another Q&A video. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, Q&A. I hope that you could uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, this one, uh, click it somewhere here. Uh, check out our Facebook page. It's Kuhol Garage. Uh, check out our Instagram. It's uh, KHL Motorsport. Uh, see you guys next time.